Good day. Let us discuss universal values and dignity. By the end of this discussion, we will explain universal values according to Squartz. We will identify the 10 different uh, universal values. It urges or impulses natin on how to uh, live a moral standard. And we will also discuss uh, different concepts of universal values, human dignity, and its importance. So dignity is earned. It is not by means of force and cannot be taken by anyone, away from anyone. No, It must be preserved so that the respect of others is maintained. So even sa practices natin, ano, sa ating mandates guided by code of ethics, gaya sa professional teachers, sa mental health, sa psychology, psychiatrist, even sa doctor, uh, yung respect of others, yung human dignity ay kinikip natin. Yung relationship between the teacher and learner, ay, there's a thin line to be preserved. No? Kapag nasira yun, mahirap i-build, i-restore yung uh, professional uh, relationship with the learners, no? between the teachers and learners. Ganun din sa ibang practices, no? sa ibang professions na tinatahak natin. So, uh, this implies that any person in whatever capacity, may it be economic, uh, social status, rich or poor, educated or not, or uneducated, deserve to be respected by anyone. Yun nga lang, in our personal uh, experiences, in Filipino context, minsan or madalas, bahalaga yung uh, background, no? The way we uh, wear our clothing, no? The way we present ourselves, the way they check our background, whether graduate tayo or hindi. Nakatapos ba tayo ng high school, elementary, or college, no? Mayaman ba tayo, mahirap? Yun yung naging basis or distorted way of understanding dignity. Pero going back dun sa original framework, kahit gaano or ano man ang ating status sa buhay, mahirap man o mayaman, educated man and educated, I deserve to be respected by anyone. There are, instances, there are instances that a simple individual is respectful more than professionals. No? The status in life is not a guarantee that an individual has dignity and honor. It is an inner self of a person, your dignity, because uh, guided by the valuing theory, by the moral standards. No? It is an inner character built and developed day by day through experiences. No? Whatever actions to be done will reflect on whom and who you are, no? Sino mga kabarkada mo, kaibigan mo sa paligid, kung anong ginagawa natin sa araw-araw. Ito yung nagre-reflect kung sino tayo, kung ano tayo, at kung ano yung ating dignity. Daman lang naman, there are times, yung mga professionals na kilala natin, no? or yung we're hoping na professional na sila yung pinagkakatiwala natin na moral standards, they live by it, they, they practice it. There are times, magtataka tayo na parang wala siya sa best symbol or role model ng morality, no? ng truth, ng, ng uh, justice, no? ng dignity. And uh, we were not surprised recently, no, if uh, a lawyer or a doctor testified that his or her patient is sick, cannot attend this gathering or debate, then all of a sudden makikita natin na andon, no, or may ibang activity, may gathering. We have this uh, theory na kay Maslow, no, uh, supposed to be ito mga professionals kami, no, mga lawyers, college graduates, teachers, uh, nasa, one who, who plays a special role in the society, no? yung mas malaki, yung impact sa society. Usually, yun ay nasa love and belonging and steam going to self-actualization. And there are times, kahit nandito na yung mga professionals, bumababa sila sa physiological needs, bribery, nepotism, lagay system. Ang wisdom nito kay Maslow, it's a hierarchy of needs, of motivation. We can feel satisfaction, happiness, uh, meaningful life if we achieve this level one. At pagtagal, uh, napopromote siya, ano, ito na yung nagiging focus na ating needs, na ating motivation, nagsapataas. 
So, meron tayong uh, inclination na mag-stop or mag-stay sa steam for a uh, period of time. And kapag hindi na-repair or na-satisfy need natin sa lower level, bumabalik tayo doon. It's a sign of uh, issues or immaturity. No? So, there are times uh, matanda na tayo, professional tayo, okay, nagkakaroon tayo ng internal agreement. Ngayon, bilang learner, Okay, sasagutan ko yung module mo, i-treat mo nga ako sa ganitong, ano, ibili mo nga ako sa sa online shopping, no? So, may kapalit, no? I mean, is yung motivation natin to do a, an act eh, affected by our physiological needs, no? So, dignity is a way of our, of our respecting, no? Uh, it, it is deserved to be respected by anyone. Kung ano man yung ating status sa buhay, ito dapat ay iniingatan natin. No? Doon naman sa universal value. No? It is an abstract value of groups of people based on the instinct, nature, or impulses, or yung virtue. No? Meron tayong tinatawag na universal values, yung moral principle, to do good and avoid evil. Meron tayong tinatawag na virtue, instinct, nature, or uh, impulse na ginagamit natin para mag-join tayo doon sa universal value, doon sa moral principle to do to, to do good and avoid evil. It affects morality because a member of that group of people like you, like me, no, will strive or sought to reach that universal value. So may sampo, gaya ng sabi ni Squartz, at ito yung uh, sinagutan natin, no? So Shalom Squartz is a social psychologist, no, recognized uh, the cross-cultural uh, realities in human values. So we answer this test, uh, and uh, this is one of the respected value assessment available in the world today, no. So to explain, if I have a if I have a value set that's con that is constant with a group of people that I belong to, say, for example, I am into universalism, I love equality, social justice, and I belong to a particular group na ganun din yung kanilang or, uh, impulse or virtue, then I fit in comfortably and tend to be like in. No? Kung hindi ako doon fit, nandahin hindi ako sa universalism, or nasa group ako ng power, ayoko naman ng may authority, ayoko ng more on wealth, preservation of self-image, then I am not fit in dun sa group na yun. No? So mga papansin natin dun sa 10, uh, meron tayo specific impulse. No? Ito yung nagre-reveal na ating perspective kasi innate siya. No? Instinct natin, the way we are motivated to conform this duty, kung kay Khan, kay Iman, kay uh, Aquinas a human act kung dito ay yung moral, no? Moral standard to do good and avoid evil. Ito yung sampo. So, doon sa mga nakakuha ng power, no? They love and they embrace authority. They use authority to affect moral standards with other people, to other people, no? Yung orientation nila are more on leadership, dominance, social power no social structure yung social orders orders siling uh, nag uh, nag-execute gumagawa they preserve the public image uh, social status prestige control or dominance over the people and resources so those sa mga uh, nasa good politics they use their resources their power to influence moral standards in the community by promulgating laws, no, by addressing issues in the society, no, to address it to the co for the common on greater good, no, you know, achievement. At the yung success, yung focus, no, yung ambition, influence, intelligence, self-respect. Uh, they pursue personal success to, by demonstrating a competence according to social standards. Say, for example, kapag achievement, ngayon ay ang ang trending or needed na professional in nursing halimbawa okay doctor or lawyer so to to 
be compete or competitive sa social standards, dun tayo papasok. No? Para sa kanya is to achieve, no, to receive awards, to to gain respect, no, sa society. Ito yung motivation niya to do good, no, to do good. Yung hedonism naman ay more on sensuous gratification for oneself, no? More on pleasure, enjoying life, self-indulgence, kung sa iba ay, yeah, uh, yeah, social influencer, uh, doing contents, no? Gaming, uh, traveling, yeah, no? They enjoy life, no? Ito yung way of uh, doing good, no? dun sa para sa kanilang setup. Sa stimulation naman, ito more on novelty, no? Change in their field, in their life, no? Pag sinabi natin stimulation, they take part of this uh, advocacy, no? Yung change. Yung pa, pwede mangyari sa yung nakasanayan natin sa lipunan. They want to affect change, no? They input or they introduce uh, specific phenomena study or thesis no na maari maka-influence ng pagbabago sa lipunan to conform with that common good to do good no and to avoid evil sa self direction naman ato yung choosing one's own goal no independent creative uh in exercise of freedom curious kasi uh an independent thought and action one is choosing and creating and exploring the real world self directed ka you are guided by this uh freedom no more ex existential in approach uh you see this uh good as your means or end and you are free to do uh good acts kahit siya ay mag uh, mag exceed sa limitations sa society like mother teresa mahatma gandhi no sila uh, Martin Luther King Jr. no is self direction sila iba yung kanilang charism or approach na ginamit hindi nakasanayan ng society na iba yung kanilang uh, ginawa or movement universalism ito naman yung social justice equality no they promote peace no uh, unity with nature protecting the environment yung inner harmony interpersonal no they want to protect nature and people, no? They want to promote social justice. Ito namang universalism. Yung approach nila ay holistic, kaya universal, no? For uh, the humanity, for social justice, for peace, for nature, no? Preservation or environment nature. Yung benevolence naman is try to preserve and enhance the welfare, no? Yung honesty, friendship, personal contact, uh, interpersonal, yeah, no? Para sa kanila yung to conform that morality, they are satisfied or motivated to build networks with other people, no? To influence these other people, not to use the authority, but to be with them, no? Teamwork, team play, no? Shared friendship, uh, loyalty, kung nagkamali, then forgiveness. Honesty, help one another, no? enhance the welfare of everyone, no? in personal contact, in yung benevolence. Sa tradition naman, ito yung uh, the one accepts the general custom and ideas ng to do good and avoid evil. They totally embrace tradition, culture, religion, uh, devoutness, no? respect for culture, yeah yung customs and ideas, yung commitment no nandoon sa traditional, do sa nakasanayan na, no? That is tradition. Yung conformity naman ay more on obedient, restraint of action or change, no? Ato ay the one becomes upset or afraid if someone will violate a community social contact contract or social expectation or norms, no? Kung merong batas, they will follow, no? Kung nandyan yung uh, norms sa isang society, susundin nila. Nagko-conform sila doon, no? Para sa kanila, yung structure sa environment, ito'y guide na natin. The way we will only achieve 
this moral standard is to follow, no? That is conformity. A security naman, no? Ito naman yung more on uh, relationship with family, no? Uh, stability of social order, para more on the law enforcement order, no? Yung uh, sense of belongingness or sense of belonging, respect to social order and relationship, naman yung sa security. 